Yeah, I'm good. good pre- morning, president Alex. of the Paul Pogba fan club. <laughs> <laughs> you and Graham Sooners. You yourself and I, type thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Gabby, Paul Pogba at Aston Villa. For eight million? On what basis? Eight million? You can count the number of good games he had Come at Manchester on. United on one hand. He and he's a... clearly not interested at Juventus either, honestly. He's injured? Come on, not come for on, me. Alex. Shirley, not, for, not for me. You know, Aston Villa are trying to build a team. They're yeah. trying to build a unity. Paul Pogba would destroy that. You think so? Yeah. Why are you calling him a bad egg? Yeah. I think he was toxic <laughs> in that United dressing room. He saw off Jose Mourinho, basically. Yeah. Really? Mm. So do you think Premier League done? Couldn't see him back at all? Well, as Gabby said, there'll, there'll be takers at that, at that money. Um, but I think he comes with a fair amount of baggage attached. All right. Okay. That's Paul Pogba then. That situation still a little bit <laughs> smirking over there, Gabby. Oh, they love it, really. Shall we talk a bit of Harry Kane? It's yes. not going Again. away. It's just what? Where are we at right now? Well, today is the day that Harry Kane is is due to return for pre-season with Tottenham. You remember previously he didn't return when he was supposed to for pre-season when he was trying to get that move to Manchester City. No suggestion history will be repeated. I think he will report for duty today. We know he's going to speak to Ange Postacoglu. We know that the Australian plans to share his vision for the football club. And I think Harry Kane is open to hearing what the new manager has to say. Obviously, talks have taken place between the Kane camp and Bayern Munich. We believe talks have taken place between Thomas Tuchel and Harry Kane. That hasn't gone down well with Daniel Levy. At the moment, Bayern are nowhere near the price tag that Levy would even contemplate selling at. So... I think Kane will stay a Tottenham player. I've been pretty steadfast on that. I know Simon Jordan, who's pretty close to Daniel Levy, believes the same. It will be interesting to see how this conversation goes between manager and player. I find it quite amusing that Daniel Levy's unhappy with this sort of secret talks going on behind his back, but reportedly those were similar secret talks with Brentford's David Raya. So when we moved to Tottenham, <laughs> well, so listen, that the, didn't quite work out anyway. We all remember the, the Ashley Cole, the tapping up scandal when he went from Arsenal to Chelsea. <laughs> It happens all the time now. Yeah. It's very rare that a football club make an offer for a player without at least yeah. sounding out the player's yeah. side to make sure that he would You'd be interested. But as well, do Spurs need the 90 million? This is why I don't understand Spurs selling him even to Bayern Munich because he's going to be left with Rich Arson. He scored yeah. one goal in 27 games in the Premier League. What's that going to do to you with your chances of getting in the top four selling Harry Kane? I'd rather lose him on a free if I'm Spurs than let him go from 90 million to Bayern Munich. So how are you going to replace them goals? 30 Premier League goals, Alex? And, and number nines are in short supply. Exactly. You know, you know we've seen that Manchester United want a, a new number nine. Obviously, they know that Daniel Levy won't sell to them. They looked at Victor Ozzie men as of Chelsea, but I think the, the fee that Napoli are asking for is astronomical. So, yeah, if Harry Kane was to be sold, I think he is irreplaceable. If you look at last season, Tottenham were dreadful last season, and he still banged in the goals. You know, if you take Harry Kane out of that Tottenham team last season, they'd have finished in the bottom half of the table. Yeah, 100%. Um, what about the fact that uh, Romelu Lukaku's future still appears to be up in the air? Um, his spell at Chelsea obviously has not been brilliant. Went back out on loan to Inter Milan. It seems as though he's much happier in Italy. Is that still going to be his next destination? Yeah, man of the match for uh, Manchester City in that Champions League final, wasn't he? <laughs> uh, Lukaku. <laughs> um, I, I think this is edging towards an exit. I think the fact he's been given extended leave, he was due to report back for pre-season in the next... 48 hours he won't report back now until next week I don't think he'll report back at all because talks well underway between Inter and Chelsea what I imagine will happen once Andre Andre Anana is sold to Manchester United Inter will use that money to buy Lukaku and the the end of what's been quite a sorry chapter in his career will will be written What about Declan Rice Crookie when's that getting announced I've heard about it's some lawyer problems with some paperwork maybe I think he's been away on holiday so he he did the first part of his Arsenal medical at the end of last week then he was um, given extended leave so I don't think there's anything untoward here it is a bit of a frustration for West Ham because they need to use that money that's coming in to finance a rebuild but I would imagine it will be announced sort of by the end of the week if not the weekend just yeah. a couple of other things Young, what do you think is going to happen with him I think he'll go as well yeah uh, again you know Chelsea have got this history haven't they of, <laughs> of signing strikers and it just not working out at all going right back to Chris Sutton actually I think only scored one Premier League goal that that curse the number nine and Aubameyang was signed as a Thomas Tuchel player Thomas Tuchel was sacked within days of his arrival and I think since then Aubameyang has, has known that his days are numbered do you think as well Inter Milan uh, with Lukaku trying to get him on the cheap knowing that you know who wants to? Who else wants to sign him? He doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia. He's already Chelsea, turned down Juventus. Yeah, Chelsea well. doesn't want him. You yeah. know, Chelsea don't want him. 
And I don't think he would go to Juventus. Wasn't that the racial abuse he got mm. against Juventus? So he's not going to go and sign for them, is he? So Inter Milan are probably in a great position knowing that he loves them, wants to be part of their plans. Chelsea is going to end up being a take it or leave it offer. Yeah, absolutely. The fee being discussed is is around about forty million pounds. I think that's the maximum that, that Chelsea can get. And when you remember, he was a record signing. I think he's still their their highest paid player as well. So part of it from Chelsea's perspective is to move him off the wage bill. But it's a big summer for Pochettino. You look at the players that have gone, particularly in midfield. They need to start making some mm. signings. And Brighton preparing, of course, for Europe. Mm. But what's happening with Moises Caicedo and also good news with regards to Lewis Dunk? Yeah, great news uh, with Lewis Dunk. New three-year contract. He's been there since 2010. He's played over 400 games. He's very much the leader in the dressing room, so they're pleased to tie him down. In terms of Caicedo, obviously comments have come out in the last 24 mm. hours that, that Chelsea is his dream destination. I think Brighton all along have been planning for his departure, but they've got a number in their head as to what it will take to prize him away, and, and Chelsea are going to have to pay top dollar. So going back to our friend Paul Pogba. There um, we go. Here we go. <laughs> do, do you not think he gets into Luton, Sheffield United? Listen, Pogba on his day, Crookie. Luton. He's got on his day, score goals. Can see him at the, score at the goals. Ken, he can run with the ball. He's got great passing. He can he can find the ball. He can do everything as a player. On his day, if he gets fit and he's hungry. Come on, he can do a job yeah, in but, the Premier League. Still. But those days are few and far between. You, you're right, he's got all the attributes to be has, yeah. a world-class player. Has he got the mentality? Not for me. And listen, Rob Edwards is trying to build something there at Luton. I think he'd run a mile if he got off the chance <laughs> to sign Paul Pogba. I, I would love to you see him. You and Graham Souness together against Pogba. It's not nice. <laughs> what about, did you love Romelu Lukaku at United? Yeah, first season he was okay. Um, I think actually that was one of the few big decisions that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got right to move him on. Okay, just checking which one you weren't as... No posters then in your bedroom, Cookie or Pogba? <laughs> Absolutely not. Have you taken down? <laughs> All right, Paul Pogba, it's a no. It's, from a, no, it's a no from me. It should be a no sure. from every Premier League club. Did they take him club. back at United? No, no, no. no <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.